Can you use vinyl to etch a PC board? This is what I wanted to find out. Hey guys, so today what I want to do is show you how to make a PC board. As a maker, I've always wanted to make my own PC boards and it, always, it hasn't always been that easy. So what I've done in the past is I would do it on the strip boards, on the breadboard, or on your, um, your experimental boards, and just play around with those and make up my circuits with that, which is never a great uh, solution. And what you ultimately want is you want PC boards. Now, I've seen a lot of advertising on uh, get uh, PC boards made for $5, but here in South Africa, that's not so easy. So it takes too long to get here. So I'm just gonna make my own PC board. If I like it and I use it in mass production, then yes, I'll send away and get PC boards made up in China. But for today, I'm gonna to show you how I uh, got a PC board etched using my Cricut Vital Cutter. So thanks to Cricut for this machine again, and it really, I have enjoyed it a lot. Sorry about the mispronunciation of names in previous videos. It's not a Cricut, it's a Cricut. So I will try to say Cricut properly today. So what I've used today is something called Easy EDA. And you can see it on the screen here, I've created a simple PC board. This is a simple PC board for an LM317 to take uh, 12 volts down to 3.3 volts so I can power my little um, ESP01 board. So this circuit is something I wanna make. I made it up on breadboard and it's okay, it works but I want to integrate the, the power supply and I want to put a transform on here. I want to split out voltage 12 and 3.3. Have a lot of fun with this, but I need to experiment first to see if this is potentially viable to use this machine to cut out uh, my vinyl, I mean my, my PC boards. So I've used ED, Easy EDA and this PC board took me way too long to design. Um, I'm very much out of practice. I don't know Easy EDA that well, but it was very simple and intuitive to use. So as you can see, I've got a simple PC board here. I'm looking from the top down with my components on the top and the PC board on the bottom. So the first thing we have to do is we have to export this. So I'm gonna export this as a PNG. So I go to export. Now, I don't want any of the top layer, which is something else I want to experiment in the future, where I cut out the top layer where the component layouts are and stick that on the top of the board. That would be super. But for now, we're not going to go that far. Then I'm going to go multi-layer, which <coughs> happens to be my vias, my holes. And then I'm going to go bottom layer. And I'm going to mirror both these because it's going to be printing. I wanted to print it upside down because I'm going to put it onto the PC board and we'll stick it on here and etch it away but we're looking from the top where the components are right now. So all I do now is I export this, I wait for it, I save it to a location. Let's go put it into my folder, give it a nice name and save it. Now there was something else I found out here. It doesn't put a transparent layer in the PNG. So how I solved that is I installed paint.net uh, paint.net which is my go-to quicks RT program and I'm going to open up that file now so let's go into that folder open up that file and there we have that file now um, I'm not awesome again with this program but we will we'll use the wand uh, like that and we'll select no that's the eyedropper wrong one where's the wand we'll use the wand we'll select that we'll delete that layer um, I'm just going to zoom in and as you can see it's a little bit jaggedy but we will give this a try nonetheless. So I'm just going to delete all the holes because believe it or not this little machine cuts out the holes as well um, which really surprised me that that actually worked. So I'm just going to now that that is a clear layout we can save this. So let's go and save this. I should have said save. Yes. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to go into, we go into upload image. We browse it. We upload that file. Okay. And 
you click it over to simple it then will uh, convert it and it will have all the holes and a nice clear background so we're going to apply and continue and once we've got that board we can click on the cut and we can upload that'll upload to our system over here right so I am going to add it to my canvas and there we go. So now we've got this added to our canvas and we are ready to cut this. So let's cut it out and we will go to our make it. So now that I've got the, the uh, item ready to cut, I can move this across because I don't want it to, I want it just to cut away from where I had it last time. So I'm gonna move it around there and I'm gonna continue, select my device, wait for it to connect set my smart vinyl uh, then we're going to load up our vinyl let it do its measuring which is a great feature of the machine i think that the creek cut joy the little one that um, uh, is rather well priced can also do the same thing as this i don't see why not i think it cuts at the same resolution it's just a lot smaller but perfect for these pc board projects so those in south africa they retail for about two and a half I'm not exactly sure what they are online, uh, but go and check that out. I'll post a, a picture of it here from uh, Cricut with the price. And yeah, those that little joy will work as well. I've got the Maker 3 here. All right, so there we go. It will now start cutting. Let's hope we got it in the right place. And it first cuts out the little holes, which is quite amazing that it's got enough accuracy to cut out those holes as well. So we'll go and cut the little holes out and then we'll cut the whole rest of the PC board. This machine is very accurate. Uh, I am actually quite blown away about them, how small your detail can be. And we are done, that's it. We can now unload. And we've got our cut there perfect, absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna move this out the way. All right, we now have our uh, transfer here ready to weed out. So I'm going to weed it quickly. Let me just quickly get all the little pieces so we get the little, the little holes out. Just like that. They pop out so nicely. There we go, we've got our little cutout. Now, when I was doing this initially, I thought, well, if this doesn't work, you can use this cutout on your PC board and then use the, the, the pen. But this did turn out to work, so let's do it. All right, now I've got a little piece of transfer paper here, which uh, with my fat hands, I struggle. That took far too long. Now that we've got the transfer tape on there, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned recently, um, just the other day from a friend of mine at work. He showed me a little trick here because he does a lot of car vinyls, and he showed me a little trick here on how to make the transfer, uh, the, the vinyl stick to the transfer tape, but he uses a hairdryer. So we've got a hairdryer here, just gonna crank it up and just give it a bit of heat. That's it. So yeah, the friend of mine, Kuven Chetty, he gave me this tip and uh, it worked last night. I tried it last night for the first time. So let's see how well it goes now. Right, and how much easier is that? So now I've transferred it onto here and we're ready to go with that. I'm just gonna do a bit of clean up, put some gloves on, and then we'll transfer this to the PC board. Right, now I've cleared up the table, made a bit of space and put gloves on because you're gonna be using something called ferrous chloride, short, ferric chloride shortly in order to etch the PC board. And this stuff does stain fingers. I don't think it's too good for your fingers. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get this transferred. The other reason I put the gloves on is I have cleaned this uh, board off with a degreaser, really made it nice and clean so that I don't get any fingerprints on because fingerprints can impede the uh, ferric chloride to actually do the etching process. So if I put the gloves on, I prevent that. So let's just quickly flip this over. Right, let's transfer it onto the board. As you can see, the holes are even, even there. There's the holes through the, through the board, which is absolutely amazing for our components. And I'm going to 
mount this on my PC board. Now try to get it straight. And then we peel our transfer tape off. And there we go. We have successfully <laughs> we have successfully transferred that across the board. Now I'm just going to use a trusty pair of tin snips. So these are my very old tin snips that I'm going to use just to cut this board out. I'll try to cut it straight. And there we go. We've cut that out. I could use a Dremel to cut that out as well. Probably be a little bit straighter with the Dremel, but there we go. So now we've got our vinyl transferred across to our PC board. And it looks like, isn't that looking amazing? Okay, so there we go, all done. So now I'm going to get Ferrichloride. Now Ferrichloride uh, stores well inside of a plastic container. So now this takes about, about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna fast forward this through this and also definitely put some newspaper down because this stuff is messy. Uh, it can actually make a heck of a mess if I'm not careful. So let's put some newspaper down, carefully open up my little bucky here off. And away we go. Let's dump that in. Right, and that's it. Now we wait for about 20 minutes. It's a good idea to oscillate this backwards and forwards and this will uh, increase the, the speed at which it starts to dissolve. So we're just going to wait here for a little while. I'm just gonna rock this backwards and forwards for a little while and we'll monitor the progress, uh, periodically checking on how far we are. Just be careful with this fer ferric chloride. It is quite nasty stuff. So I've been watching this for the last half an hour. We are nearly there, just swilling a little bit backwards and forwards, just getting a little bit more um, that needs to be etched out. So I'm just monitoring it and we are getting very close. There's just a couple of little spots here and there that uh, we just want to get rid of the copper and we go. So um, I haven't sloshed it backwards and forwards a whole time, but that does uh, increase the effectiveness of the acid on it. But I have been doing it for quite a bit. And uh, so this is just over half an hour at room temperature. Uh, and I, ha I have heard that if this is slightly warmer, it does make a difference. So um, yeah, so let's just wait for a few more seconds just to get the last bit off and then we can see the fruits of our labor. Tell me in the comments below what you think of this. Uh, let me know if this is, is a good idea, if you like the idea. Also, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong because you know I'm not a, I'm not a pro at making PC boards. This is something I just wanted to try and uh, share with you guys if it works and uh, really excited about this prospect because I love to make some PC boards. I've got some nice ideas that I want to build and uh, yeah, the PC board making will make it a lot easier and a lot cleaner to, to, to uh, finish. So let me know what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. And uh, while you're at it, like and subscribe on this, on this channel. I haven't said that enough, you know that. I never ask you guys to subscribe. I'm nearly, um, I'm, my, my subscribers are growing. Uh, keep subscribing guys, please, and keep supporting the channel. Consider the join button. I know there's not much under there, but it does help me to continue with these projects. This equipment and the stuff that we buy here does cost money. Sometimes we do get sponsored equipment, which is really, awesome and I really appreciate that from the sponsors uh, but a lot of times we are footing the bill ourselves and doing all of this work ourselves so yeah if you want to support the channel the join button is there uh, there's three tiers at the moment it's just really to support me uh, but I will give you guys a shout out and if uh, you go for the maximum tier I will do a little advert of your business or whatever and just grow your your business as well so yeah let me know if you are interested in this and how we are doing we are so close we're so i'm gonna let this go for another five minutes and uh, we'll see how we do right looks like we're done give me a second to go wash this off under water water neutralizes this acid uh will neutralize this acid and get rid of it completely so stop the etching process so let me go and quickly wash this under some water and uh we'll come back and reveal how it looks Right, we have washed it off, off uh, with water and we're just gonna dab it clean and inspect our results and see how it looks. Actually really excited about this guys. And there we go. 
one edge piece of wood. There are, under the holes, there are some little pieces left, but there we have a piece of board that has been edged. So now, let's take off the, um, the vinyl and see what our result looks like here. Wow, well, guys, there we go. A completed PC board. Made at home, on our machine here, uh, using vinyl, it works. I am, I cannot tell you how pleased I am that this actually worked. You can see the holes so I can drill those out. Um, yeah, no, guys, this actually works really well and I'm very pleased with the results. I think with a little bit of tweaking, I can get it looking even better than this. But other than that, I'm really, really stoked about how this came out. Uh, Vinyl works perfectly, it doesn't dissolve at all, the glue doesn't lift, so really pleased about this. So now we can go populate this board and test it out and make sure that it works. But guys, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of this process. Um, it's a different way of doing it, and what's nice is you can do it at home, and it turns out relatively well. I'm sure I can even get better results as we go. But um, obviously with my design work that I did there, got a little bit of tweaking to do, and uh, a little bit more uh, to go on this, but this is an exciting thing because I've always wanted to make my own PC boards at home And it's always been a, a problem and it's difficult. So guys, thanks for watching Let me know if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, tune back soon for more videos. Thanks guys Great day. God bless. Stay well. Stay safe